tutorial. In this Pixel Matter tutorial, I am going to show you how to create an effect that I've recently done in um, an app called Enlight. And it is um, a double exposure effect. So basically, we're gonna have this, as you can see on the screen, I've got this polar bear, um, a PNG polar bear, so there's no background to it. And, um, and this background layer here, these trees and snow, and we're gonna um, double expose the trees and that coming through the polar bear. And it's quite a cool effect. Some of you might have seen it before. If you want to do this to a, another shape or another, another image, or yourself, you know, you can do it to, to do, do it to people and apply the effect to, to your own pictures. Then all you're going to have to do beforehand is your main image, or your mind of the polar bear, is you're going, going to have to just go around it and cut it out. Um, quite a, a simple thing to do. You just do it here with the, um, the, the, the lasso tool and you just cut around your image and then cut it out and save it as a layer. So that's quite, quite simple. Okay, so. Um, let's get on so I've got these two images in my layers up here now what I'm going to do I am going to just turn this polar bear off for a second and I'm going to click the little plus button in my layers here um, and it will create a new layer if you haven't got your layers you can go um, view and um, and then hide or show layers so it's so you can press command 2 if you like I suppose so command two will hide or show you layers. But we've got this new layer here, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a gradient to this um, to this new layer or this top layer that I've got at the moment. Um, for this, I'm going to need my um, my layers palette. So it's command seven, I do believe, which will give you your um, your styles. Sorry, um, styles um, palette, and then uh, sorry, I'm going to need my gradient. So command five, that one is. So it's good. It's good that you get to learn these keyboard shortcuts by my mistakes. And I'm just going to use this default one here, this, this ice white default sort of layer that everybody's got. Um, and I'm just going to drag down. It really doesn't matter about the angle of the layer or the way it is. You know, you can. It's just personal preference. You can. Um, you can. You can put it as you as you like. So that layer is quite simple. There. I'm just going to go back to my selection tool. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag that. I'm going to call that. Um, the, the the white layer shall we so double click to rename um, call it the white layer or whatever you want to call it and then that white layer I'm going to drag it to the bottom of the layers okay so um, this background layer is going to go above the polar bear and then I'm going to select the polar bear now what we're going to do obviously you can't see the pol polar bear I just turned it on with a little tick you can't see the polar bear because it's behind the background layer. This background layer here is at the top. But what we're going to do is create a clipping mask of this image using this as the clipping. Before, what you had to do, you had to go to this placeholder and press Command and left click on your mouse to select this image or the outside of this image. But now all you have to do is select the top image and right click and then create clipping mask. And it will create a clipping. The, designated by this little arrow here of the layer below it. So now what I'm gonna do with this background layer, and all I've got, if I turn this off, you see there's nothing there because I've just created a clipping of the shape of this layer below it, this polar bear. Now what I'm gonna do, what I can do with this background layer, um, select it and I can move it to, um, to a place that I'm happy with that I think, yeah, looks okay. And this is where roughly I want a bit, a few trees and a few mountains in there, um, and a bit of snow. So you can see it's it's very sort of a, a wintry type theme. And then what I'm going to go and do, I'm going to go to my blending mode, and I'm going to go blend screen blend. Now there's there's other blend modes that you could use. You could use um, lighten, I suppose, um, which gives quite a nice effect. Or you could even use maybe multiply, which will make it darker and color burn again, which will keep it dark. Um, but it's totally down to you what preference. I'm just using screen, um, just just in this instance here. Now what you can do is you can turn the opacity down a little bit just to show more of the polar bear. If you turn the opacity up, you see it takes away some of the you know you don't see the. Um, it just gives you a bit more of the polar bear. So it's totally up to you. And you could even. Um, if you wanted to scale this polar bear up a little bit so it's so it's a little bit bigger so it looks a little bit better um, like so it's quite nice getting these footprints in I suppose 
yeah yeah it looks quite good and I'm just gonna click OK on this little button up here and I'm gonna select both of these layers and I'm gonna move them at the same time just so um, I want the polar bear a little bit higher in the picture but I want to move the um, I want that layer to stay where it is in the background so so select off them so you just deselected them so this is our basic um, double exposure sort of effect um, so let's let's just add a few more things to it so it's very very simple very easy in Pixelmator whereas if anybody's seen the Enlight app one that's quite difficult to do quite a um, quite an advanced tutorial well, this is quite simple within Pixelmator because obviously a stronger tool a, a, a more powerful tool um, so now I'm going to um, right click on this polar bear and I'm going to um, and I am going to duplicate or copy that polar bear and I'm going to drag it below my white layer and now I'm just going to turn no I can leave it above the white layer actually I should imagine let's have, let's have a look and then I'm just going to not move that layer I want to move this polar bear layer and turn that background layer off and this polar bear layer this one here I'm going to go um, edit and then flip vertical vertical so it's gone upside down now I'm just gonna um, just drag it down below the polar bear so we just got a nice um, sort of reflection and then I'm going to rotate it slightly if you haven't got say for instance it's like this if you've got it selected like this and you, and you can't rotate it all you've got to do is press command with that layer selected the one that you want to rotate command F and it will allow you to rotate and manipulate this layer um, around to where you want it like this yeah like this just um, and then once you're done just click the um, the OK button up here I've just got my um, app on full screen mode that's all and then what I'm going to do with this polar bear copy selected let me just turn that background layer back on now I'm going to again um, go to blending mode and I, I'm gonna do um, not overlay I'm gonna do a linear light I think let's have a look Is that a bit too much linear light turn the opacity down let's have a look at vivid light might be a little bit better turn the opacity up a little bit more I'm just gonna have a look through these lights and see which one I prefer or these blending modes and see which one I prefer um, yeah so I think um, I think hard light is probably gonna be the better better option for us or for me that what I prefer and then leave it like so yep hard light and then what I'm gonna do on this white layer I'm gonna drag these sunbeams onto this white layer um, and then with this sunbeam generator I'm going to change the color select the color and put a white sunbeam I'm going to increase the sun radius like so and drag it up to this corner so you can't really see the Sun if it was a different color let me show you if the Sun was a different color like this you would see it but because it's white you can't really see it but you can see the Sun strength if you increase the strength and you increase the contrast and then we go radius you notice let me just turn the strength down a little bit contrast and then time you notice that we can now um, we've got quite a nice effect with these white sunbeams coming off and then I'm going to do that again I'm just going to drag the sunbeam if you can't find this sunbeam in your effects just go to your little search engine down here and type sun and it'll come up with the sunbeam I'm gonna drag it onto the white layer again but this time I'm gonna drag it over this side and I'm going to um, I'm going to turn down the strength slightly and the contrast no leave the contrast up the radius drag the radius down a little bit as well then I'm gonna click OK and that is me um, finished this sort of effect so that's double exposure it's really cool um, cool sort of effect 
that you can uh, that, that you can um, achieve in Pixelmator, and you can do it with your you know your own images and you know a, 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 I don't know a dragon with fire behind it or, or a wolf with woods behind it, whatever you know you can or even yourself you know with your your birthday pictures behind you or whatever you know you just got to use a bit of imagination. So I hope um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm. Um, I hope you um, it gives you some inspiration. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll um, I'll be back again soon with more tutorials. Bye.